Guess what we have in common? Two feet. Guess what else we have in common? Sewing. Here's some new feet maybe, and also some feet maybe you've heard of, but maybe you wanna see how it works. For you quilters out there, one is the 97D foot. It is a quarter inch foot, and it has a bunch of different measurements on it. You might be putting stitching in on the edge. You might be putting stitching in next to a piece of applique. You might be piecing together quilt pieces, and you need your quarter inch to be exact. So this foot does that with the help of a guide so that you can keep your fabric, the edge of your fabric right on that guide and have a nice perfect measurement on your seam. Okay, the other one for quilters that we thought would be fun is this couching foot. It has a little wire guide that will hold yarn or ribbon or cording and then it feeds through this foot and it feeds clear. You can see where you're going at the same time as you're feeding that ribbon or cording through the foot, and then it stitches it down as it's being fed through. This next pair of feet is for our garment sewist. The number 10 foot is an edge stitch foot. It has a guide right here that can be moving along your folded edge of your fabric so that you can get a really professional finished looking piece. Next, the eight foot is for denim. This is called the jeans foot, but it really could be for anything really thick that you're trying to make a nice hem with. It's a flat foot. There's absolutely no divot in the bottom of it. It's got a very small area to sew, a straight stitch. It doesn't bubble up in the middle, and it allows you to get a nice, really solid, professional looking straight stitch. Next up is our decorative sewists, like home deck, right? So for those of you who like to play around with those really fun jazzy stitches on your sewing machine, this is the 20D foot. The 20 foot comes with a lot of the machines, but it doesn't come in a D. And if you have a dual feed machine, the D foot in the 20 is an awesome option. It has an area that is indented on the bottom of the foot, which allows for satin stitches to move smoothly under the bottom without catching or, you know, getting it kind of stuck in there because you're putting a lot of stitching in the same little area. The last one is 39C. This is a really fun one to try something new. The 39 is meant for a similar activity using it for satin stitches, but see that it's clear. And it has these little red lines, which are guidelines, so that you can turn your fabric and create a circular patterned design. A book here that we all love around Finch. How did we figure out all this information before the video? <laughs> this, is how, this, is how, this is how I know what I'm talking about. It's gonna help you see the potential of your machine and what it can do. For example, the 39 foot, you can create this fun little snowflakey design. I think it's really fun. I, I plan to use it myself. Maybe I'm gonna make myself some napkins. Okay, have fun. Our boxed bonus feet. This is a ruffler. Is it? Yeah, this is a ruffler. And this is the Spanish hem stitch. <laughs> <laughs> Spanish hem stitch is commonly seen on napkins, and so you use this attachment in order to achieve that look. It can also be added to pillows and things like that. Makes a really beautiful finished, like an heirloom look on your embroidered pillow or your embroidered napkins. This is the ruffler. If you are a garment sewist, or even if you're doing this for decorative reasons, using the ruffler is sure is an easy way to create a gathered look. Okay, 